Hello everybody, it's an original artist here and today I'm going to do a mid-tier food guide for all the new players that are currently coming into two hours one life. Some of this will also apply for one hour one life, but I'm doing mostly two hours one life. So I'm going to start from some more of the basic foods and then move on to more complex food requiring more tools, iron tools, and uh, more technology in general. So, the first foods I'm going to make are goose rabbit omelet. Those are the first foods generally people will make when they are in an Eve civilization. So I have those, that, and omelet as well. I have a bowl of eggs. That's not eggs. It's my frying pan. And I'm going to quick grab the things you need from specific trees to start a fire. Don't mind that boar there. Don't mind my cat in the background making noise. So to make a fire, you need something from a, you need to click a juniper tree or a pine tree. You'll get tinder or you'll get pine needles. So we're going to take the pine needles and you need a leaf from pretty much nearly any tree other than the ones that I just said. So I'm gonna grab a leaf from that maple tree. You can see right there, tiny little leaf. We're gonna go back up to my kitchen. Hi, Boar. She named him Boris. Okay, back in the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make a fire over here where all my stuff is. Really simple. I've already made a a uh, fire tool making video so check that out or look on the 2tech or ask in the discord to make a fire you're going to need leaf pine needles or tinder fire bow long shaft kindling so we're going to use the fire bow on the long shaft and you can see a little dot right there use your leaf that i just picked up pick that little ember up add to your tinder or pine needles and you'll see it right there it's going to puff up just slightly and you're going to add your kindling so, you're not going to want to start cooking right away because I'll show you why. People will think that you should cook on a fire right away. No. I just burnt that rabbit. No longer edible. I'm just going to throw it into the desert. So that's why you shouldn't do that. However, um, if you have a corn cob, which I didn't grab any corn cobs, did I? No, I didn't, because I'm not smart like that. If you have a corn cob and you have a bowl, you can make popcorn on that fire, which I'll do right now. In a bowl, just a dried ear of corn on a fire. You have popping popcorn right there. I already have a bowl of popcorn over there, but whatever. So fire has died. First thing I'm going to do is grab a skewer, which is a sapling that you find in a green biome that you cut down with a sharp stone. So we're going to use it on the hot coals and you have cooked rabbit. Then I'm going to do a goose on coals. You can also cook it in an oven, but you still need the skewer on it. So we're going to cook that. I'm going to put that there actually. Um, next thing I'm going to do is an omelet, which I need. Flat rock. This flat rock here you'll find in a gray biome where there are wolves, so be careful. Just put it right on the coal. Use your egg. This is a goose egg, but I believe you can also use chicken. Right onto there. Use your plate. If you're not fast enough, you'll need to remove it with a weak skewer because it will also burn. Now, I don't have the tongs. My tongs. So, after we did that, I'm going to also show how to fry an egg, which you can only fry eggs if they are chicken eggs. Put it on a 
griddle or frying pan and then on a hot coal. Then you just on a plate. Wham, bam, simple. And then also, where is my bubbles? There's my bubbles. Getting water on there and a chicken egg. Can only do this with the chicken egg. This will take a while, so don't rely on it as a good food source, honestly. I'm gonna clean up because I just did so much. My OCD is kicking in. Anyway, so we got goose, rabbit, omelet, boiled egg. I didn't do rice yet, so we're gonna do rice next. Rice isn't that hard. I'm going to make my fire in there because I already showed how to make a fire. I have rice right here, which you get in a yellow biome. I need a branch. You can um, do this with a long branch too that you get from here or just this branch. Most people prefer this because people are less likely to mess with it then. You just Oh my god, what am I doing this wrong? There's only that recipe, really? Well, I guess I just found a bug to tell the game devs. Now I have the right branch this time. You just you, you do that. I'm gonna put that in there. Then you just use a bowl to pick it up, and then you just hit it with a round stone and I'm going to just light a fire real quick so now you should also if you're not sure about stuff check your crafting guide I know you just add a bowl of water to it but right there bowl of water bowl of rice equal clay bowl plus bowl of raw rice with water so I'm gonna do that and while that is going I'm going to wait and Next on my list is pies. There's 16 pies. Make sure that I have my list all ready for when I make every single pie. I didn't make honey yet. We're gonna skip over that specific pie. Simply because I don't really wanna do it. It takes too long. This is too much. This is too, too much. Too much. Carrot. Do that on the fire, as you can see. I'm just gonna, I don't think that does anything, right? It's not useful in any way. Our egg has been boiled. And you need another plate, right? Yeah. That's the bowl. No, it's the knife. You can cut this with a flint knife. Then you have two boiled eggs that you can eat. All right, now I'm going to make 15, not 16, because I'm not gonna do the rabbit honey pie, which is for Twisted, simply because it's, uh, I technically consider it higher tier. And a little bit too hard for a new player to make because they don't know honey by now. So, gonna need plates, obviously. Gonna. Yes, meow. Going to need wheat. So, this is a wheat shaft that you find in um, Yellow Biome. Or you plant it and harvest it. So you use, again, curved branch or that long branch. Pick it up with the bowl. I'm gonna return that. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna use a round stone on the bowl of wheat. Then we're going to add a bowl of water to it, and you see that it is a bowl of dough. And it goes on to one, two, three, four plates. So, we have 
raw pie crusts and we're going to start with some of the more of the easier pies. The easiest pie, in my opinion, is carrot or berry pie. So you just put a carrot in a bowl, either a knife, sharp stone, flint, or flint knife you'll need, and you mash it with those, and then you just add it straight to the raw pie crust. Now we need berries, and I didn't go get berries. I don't like berries. Now that I actually have berries, you don't need to mash this specific bowl of berries because it's just straight on a pie. And then the next one you can do is bowl of gooseberries plus a carrot, mash it, and add two crust. The next one after that is rabbits, rabbit pie. So you can just get a skinned rabbit Place it in a bowl, mash it again, sharp stone, flint, flint knife, or knife will crush it and make it filling. So we're going to put that all in there and we're going to get more wheat. I'm going to isolate that. I have bags of wheat or sacks of flour or sacks of wheat, whatever it is. That rice takes such a long time. On two plates, as I said before, I need more plates too. What did I have here? All right, the next four pies I did need a rabbit carrot pie. So rabbit in bowl plus carrot, you can do it the other way around too, and then you just crush it and add it. Next is rabbit berry, which I need my bowl of berry. Wait, I don't have enough bowl of berry. <sighs> I needed four bowls of berries. <sighs> I hate berries so much. Rabbit berry pie. And then <sighs> rabbit berry, rabbit berry carrot pie. I don't now that I have that, I need a rabbit again. So a bowl of berries plus rabbit or carrot and then rabbit. You just mash it and you add it to a pie crust. And then you have that. So I went through that list. Pork pie next. The next pie is pork that you can do. Do a pork pie, which is pork, raw pork, in a bowl, mash it, do that. Now I need more wheat again. Enough plates. Jesus, my rice is on. This is just edible now. Get it out of the way. Bowl, water, plate. Now pork apple pie. You do bowl, pork, mash it, add it, and then you need an apple, which you just add to the pie. And next we need an apple pie. So you have apple you, apple you just add, you don't have to mash it at all. And then I have steak pie, which is just adding that to that, mashing it, and adding it. Put that there, and then the very next, yeah, there's only two or three more. The next one is um, steak onion pie. Where's my steak? Where's my steak? Okay. This one's a little bit more complicated because you absolutely need a knife to get it done, and onions are there so we mash it and you put an onion on a plate and you need a advanced knife for this you cut an onion on a plate you add it to the bowl and then you just add it to the crust 
And now there's mutton and then there's chicken pie. Oh my god, I'm going through so many plates. Oh, and also pumpkin. And then the rabbit honey, but I'm not going to do the rabbit honey. Because it's uh, beyond mid-tier, in my opinion. So, mutton pie. I'm going to need more of wheat. We're gonna save that last for flatbread and mutton pie is just bowl wherever I put all my mutton. Mutton is down here. Mutton pie. Easy. And then after mutton, chicken. So I need to go kill a chicken real quick. Chicken, 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 chicken. Make sure I hit a hen. Hit a hen. I need two. chicken pie is a little bit confusing because you need to put it on a plate you need to cut it I believe then you remove the bones yes and then you add the raw cut chicken to the pie crust and the next pie is pumpkin pie which you need to make pumpkin custard which you need to learn how to make sugar for you need a pumpkin so if you're confused about how to make sugar, you need sugar cane, which is found in the jungle. And you, the recipe is on the tech tree, which I will try to remember to link in the description. So you just add the pie, the raw pie crust to the pumpkin custard. And then you have a raw pumpkin pie. So after that, Sliced bread, flatbread, bacon, sausages. Okay. Sliced. I'm gonna do the flatbread first because I have this. Flatbread is pretty easy. I just put it on a flat rock and you just need a round stone. Then you have flatbread. Bread, sliced bread is next. Do you need a bowl of wheat? Use round rock, and then you need bolo wata. Add it to there, and then you just need to leave this alone, like on a table somewhere. Hopefully, nobody takes it or does anything with it. And then bacon and sausage. Sausage, you need to kill um, a domestic pig. So I'm going to take the knife and we're going to go murder one the pig. Uh, wrong way, in here. Hello, Mr. Porker. Okay. So these are pig intestines or skin or whatever it's intestines i guess and then with the intestines that you have you need salt water which is this up here that i have there's my bowls there's my bowls so salt water and you just tech touch it directly on there and it makes sausage casings which after you do that you need my bread dough just popped up you need pork raw pork 
in a bowl and I'm just gonna take that knife and you just grab the intestines right onto that and you have a couple of that and then you have that leave in dough that I just made because you left it alone and then you can cut this with a flint knife if you want to because you need to cut it because when you bake a lot of bread actually gets small cuts to help the insides properly bake and to rise properly as well so we have that bacon and i need my turkey so this is um, an uncooked turkey which you put on a plate and you want to do that last okay you can also make cooked squash almost forgot that one. I need another plate. Oh my god. There's a plate. Oh my god, I didn't think I was gonna need this many freaking plates. So, for um, a squash on a plate, you can use a hatchet or a steel axe to cut it. Then you'll get squash chunks, which you can cook in an oven I believe. How do you cook it in the oven though? What? What am I doing wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turning into... You can do this. Squash chunks. Plate of squash. Is it because it has the seeds on it? Oh my god, because it has all the freaking seeds on it still, isn't it? Yep, it's because it has all the seeds. Oh well. How long does it take? 15 minutes to just spawn. Okay. We're gonna pre pretend that those don't exist. Okay. We have the plate of squash chunks on there. The meat, the geese already did. Chicken, I'll go grab that chicken that I have on here. So. Chicken, that's a goose. Frick, where did I put the chicken? <laughs> they all went the fucking way. My cats. Is the chicken? Pluck chicken, there we go. The chicken and a potato. You can cook a potato in the oven too. So we're gonna put the potato there. Okay, that should be all roughly all the major foods that you can cook in an oven. So you just need to put kindling in the oven, light it with a firebrand, and wait until the fire dies before you cook. So I'm gonna do these squash chunks first. Okay. Edible. We're gonna do the bread, we're gonna do the pumpkin pie, we're going to do all that first. And then we're gonna do all that. And that you're gonna want to do the turkey last because it'll stay in there and it won't come out for a while where's all that cooked mutton that I had that I messed with I'm gonna need these later for the thing and so while that's cooking you we need a knife I left over by that. So with the knife, you can use um, 
the flint knife up here, like I said, to cut this bread. So you could have this in a primitive era, but you can't use it to cut a turkey or I think the, oh, you can do the pumpkin pie. You could have that then in primitive. So then, now we got that. We're going to put this turkey there and we're going to cut it with a knife and to eat this you need to use a plate directly on it you can't just grab it and spam trying to eat it you need a plate to eat it all right so we did all that turkey potato bacon the bacon okay you need a plate I can grab the, I couldn't grab it. I need to grab cooked pork on a plate. Use a knife, because the flint knife's not gonna work. Onto it, and you have the bacon on a plate, which you have to right click, same as bread, to eat it. And now, I did all that. Going to do soup soups next. I'm gonna do soups next. Um, turkey broth is actually really easy. You just need all the turkey bones. When you finish eating a turkey, um, even you're gonna need the leg bones on it because you're gonna eat the turkey with a plate, and then you can right-click the plate and get bones off of it to eat. You need to put those bones back on afterwards. Then you just add it to a clay crock and add a bowl of wata. And then it just goes right on a thing of coals to cook. So we're going to get some fire. We're going to relight the fire and get some fire. And we're going to let the fire die. For, um, Stew. It's a little different. You're gonna need a squash, and squash seeds are found in the yellow biome. They look like weird green, light green plants. You just put it on a plate, and then you use. And I put my axe. I had an axe. Where did my axe go? Do I have it in here? I don't. Freak. I need. That's my. You're gonna use your axe or your hatchet, add it to a clay crock, then you need the beans or corn first, I believe. It's the beans first, because it won't take the corn first. So beans, I have bowl of beans. I put bowl of beans down here. I know I put bowls of beans down here. Where did they go? My brain is right there. You're gonna use a round rock on the bowl of dry beans. You're gonna put the dry beans, beans with sh whatever that word is, on a plate. Then you're gonna put them on back in a bowl. Then you're going to put that on these coals. You're gonna get a thing of water. You're going to Add the thing of water to the dried beans, and you're going to take the water out. And then you have bowl of soaked beans, which you add to that. Then you need dried corn in a bowl. Cut it up. I'm going to add that to that. A light of fire. Water to it because now it's raw. And while that's doing that, we're going to make a chili because chili is not fun either. Chili is, um, I, I remember what it is. It's uh, the onions first. Yeah. Alright. Onion on a plate, and then you cut it with a knife. 
And then we need a tomato on a plate. And then you need to add pepper to it. And then after that, you need to add either, was it the beans or was it the meat first? It's meat. Minced pork, minced beef, or er, carnitas. So we're going to grab that beef that I had down here. And I put this stew on that. And I put this in a bowl. Smash it, add it. And now beans, basically the same thing we just did. Round stone on a bowl of dry beans. Onto a plate, put it back in a bowl, add a thing of water. Oop. Take the water out and add it, and then water, and then you cook it. Yes. I also make fish stew, but I don't have fish bones. It's literally the same thing, though, as turkey broth. You put the fish bones into clay crock, add water, and cook it on uh, coals. So while well, that's doing that, we're going to make the other camping stove foods. So we're gonna make tom tomato. Oop, that's not what I was trying to grab. So. And a cut. We need the onion first, actually. Onion, tomato, and we're gonna need a carrot. And I know I'm gonna need more onion than what I have. I need one more onion. Put that in the box. In the box. Put this on the coals, and then that on there. Why are you guys fighting? Really, cats? My children. Crazy cat lady. So, this is a camping stove pot and stove frame, which if you look on the 2-tech, which I will remember to link in the description, hopefully, you just put that frame on there, you add the stove, you get the water, you add the water, and to give it a few seconds and it'll start boiling, I believe. Onions first, carrot next, carrot next, and it's boiling. So we have onion, carrot, tomato. And now we have camping stove with tomato soup. Why are you guys fighting so loudly? Huh? And then we have... Did I not get you new toys recently? And now you're coming in to cuddle up, huh? Anyway, this next one is going to be... Um... French onion, which I'm going to need... Wheat for. Bowl of wheat. What are you doing? So I'm not paying attention to you, you're messing with the cords. Really a child. Okay. Chop a onion on a plate and this onion butter oh god put the stove on there add the water onion and then you're gonna need a bowl of butter which i will show how to make a bowl of butter in a little bit but you need a knife for that add that add the thing of butter and then add a bowl of flour and you have camping stove with french onion stew soup not stew soup Now the last one, we're going to make drugs, so 
I'm sure plenty of people are happy about that. Onion. Chopped onion. Carrot. And, um... I need a mushroom. I know I have mushrooms. Where did all my mushrooms go? Where are my drugs? Where did I put my drugs? Should have put my drugs down here, didn't I? There they are. Here they are. Drug. Onion. Carrot. Right? No, butter. Butter. It'll be onion. Butter. Man, I'm tired. So wait till it's boiling a little bit. Because you can't add it right away, as I said. You get the boiling animation, you add it to it, add the butter, add the drugs. Then you have mushroom soup, so broth, stew, chili. We have broth, stew, chili, mushroom, tomato, French onion soup. Everything's messy. Everything's messy. All right. Now that we did that, we have all that was um most of the stew stuff. There's still fish stew and sauerkraut you can make, but fish stew I don't have the bones and I didn't really want to work to get to the bones. And sauerkraut is a bit harder to make, so I generally don't teach it. I'm going to do milk, butter, cheese next. So, cows, obviously. You need to feed cow crushed corn, which is a corn cob in a bowl. Crush it with flint or flint knife, flint regular knife. And then you just feed it, wait till it gets a baby, because that's how it works IRL too, is the cows are um, impregnated and then after the baby is old enough to be weaned, we just keep milking cows over and over. So we're gonna wait till the baby leaves and we're gonna milk it a couple times and get milk. Cause you can milk a cow more than once so long as you have bowls of water to give it cause it gets dehydrated after. See, it has this baby. Milk it, give it water, milk again. So, I'm gonna feed that cow real quick. Did I feed it? What did I feed? I fed her. Okay, so for stuff like butter, you need to wait until a full bowl, full bucket of milk is left alone for a little while and it will form cream at the top, which you take off. So while that's doing that, I'm going to show you how to make cheese. Have my knife? Okay. So to make cheese, you need empty creamery, which you make with two clays, which you find in a purple biome. You just hit one with a round stone, you add another one to this wet clay bowl, and then you use round stone on it again. For cheese, you just need a full bowl, full bucket, of milk add to the creamery and then you need so how cheese w um used to make and i think maybe even still is made is you took um bacteria from the inside of specific an animals so the animals that we take bacteria from in the game or the yeah is a dead sheep 
So you gotta kill a sheep, get a bowl, then you click it, and you get Renette. People call it the blood, but technically what it is is um, bacteria from the inside of its stomach. And then you just put it on the cultured creamery, then the creamery, now it's cultured, and wait a while and eventually you'll get cheese, and it'll need to age. So, I'm gonna wait for that, and now we finally got separated milk, because it'll have its own little time frame of that. You just click it and you get a bowl of cream. And now we have skim milk, so there's whole milk and skim milk. The whole milk made the cheese, which you could also eat off of. You could just get a bowl to eat the skim or the whole milk. So now that we have this, we just need a skewer, which is just a sapling. The same thing that we use to um, cook our rabbit and goose earlier. So you just literally use it on there and then you have butter. And now while we're doing that, I'm gonna show you how to make the two sandwiches, which is very easy because we have all the ingredients and we made them earlier and we're making the cheese right now. So, there are, I don't have my knife, 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 knife. Children, calm yourselves, so. So, there are two sandwiches in the game. You just stack two flat bread together, add cheese to both, and this is a, basically just a grilled cheese. Add cheese to this, another grilled cheese, but you can also add cooked mutton to it for a cheese, cheesy mutton sandwich. Was that all the foods that I was planning to do? I believe so. That was loud, wasn't it? I'm sorry. I didn't do bean burritos yet. Frick. Okay. I don't want to do the bean burrito. Not really, but I said I would. So I'm going to. Okay, bean burritos. Fairly simple. You need beans and you need flour. In general, six burritos fit on a plate, but I'm only just going to do the four. So we need to cook these instead of doing it the same way that we did it with the stew. It's an entirely different process. I need plate. Plate. Hot rock. going to light the fire real quick and I don't have water do I I do okay so stone on the bean put that put it back in and then you're gonna need a bowl of water but you're not going to take out the water this time so no don't take out the water for this because you need to just cook these and then now we're going to do a bowl of wheat round rock as we know before and put that on there you can put this on a table or a flat rock a flat rock you can just literally just do like that and then you'll have that but we can also just do it straight on a You can do it right on a table too, and you don't have to worry, but f that, do that, and then you got that, and I don't have another flat rock because I'm stupid. And I didn't cook the freaking beans, fuck. So you can just you can just put it straight on a table and whack it with a long straight shaft. But you can also put it on a rock, long straight shaft, 
because you might not have a table yet. And then there you go. You need cooked beans, which you need a that for, which I forget that you can take that off now. You just cook it right on coals. Add it to that. Six will fit on here, but I just did the four. And there you go. That's all the more mid-tier foods that I could think of at the time. Thank you for watching. I'm going to stop now because I feel stupid.